everyone, this is Laura McCullough with Clear Scraps and I am so excited to be at scrapbook.com today. I'm going to share with you some easy techniques that will really bring the wow factor to your acrylic albums and embellishments. So today I'm going to share with you three different techniques and we're going to do them all on this acrylic banner. It's brand new from Clear Scraps. It's Home Sweet Home Banner that they just released at CHA Winter. It's a lot of fun. I've already made three of these. So let's go get started. So the first technique I'm going to show you today is how to emboss on the Clear Scraps acrylic. Yes, you can emboss on your acrylic just like you do with your paper. I have a big shot here from Sizzix. We love Sizzix. They're very generous with their big shots to the design team. And I'm going to take their Sizzix embossing folder. All you have to do is go ahead and put half of the heart in the embossing folder. Now the reason why we wouldn't put the whole heart in there is because it won't cover, the folder won't cover the whole heart. So we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to go ahead and kind of line up the folder with the point of the heart and the middle of the heart at the top. And we're going to go ahead and do this sideways because this won't go through the Sizzix this way. So we're going to have to turn it sideways and lay it down. And then we're going to cover it with this sheet and just go ahead and go through your big shot just like you would with your paper. It's very easy and we're done. Now we're going to go ahead and bring this back through. I'll show you the embossing on the heart. There's one half. Now we want to go ahead and finish it by doing the other half. So we're going to go put it back in the folder, put it back on the machine and run it through run one more time. It's really easy and it gives such a great wow factor. There you go. Now you might want to go ahead and take the protective film off of it first, but you don't have to do that. It's very easy. All you have to do is pull back the film and there's your finished product. Now it gets better than this because this is great all by itself, but I know we all like to play around, so we want to get some inks and really highlight this embossing on the heart. Okay, now we're going to take that embossed heart and we're going to play around with it with some ink. But one thing I want to tell you is that it's very important when you're working with acrylic to use a solvent-based ink. So we like to use Stays On from Sukuniku. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop open the lid. And we really want to just highlight this embossed raised portion of the heart. And so you're going to really just take your ink pad and go over it very lightly. That way you won't get down to the bottom, but you will just see the flowers that are raised come to life. So let's do that real quick here and you will see. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? So if you just go ahead and do that all over the entire heart, it gives it such a great wow factor. Now you can do this with their new metallic inks that they just came out with. I'm sure that that would just be gorgeous as well. Take a look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And it's so easy to do. All right, for this second step, I'm going to show you how to make the dimensional flowers on my banner. And what you're going to need is one of these sheets of acrylic from Clear Scraps. It comes in a 12 by 12 sheet. I've already gone ahead and cut it down to the size that will fit through the big shot. And you're just going to go ahead and take one of your die cuts that you have. I found this one and it's just a beautiful little flower. It has actually four flowers on it. So we're going to go ahead and lay that down in the Big Shot, put your acrylic over it, and run it through. Again, it's just the same process as you would with your, with your paper. And you're just going to get something like this that pops right out. Now this has four different flowers. With the technique I'm showing you, we're only going to use three of them. So you can go ahead and save this for another project. Okay, so now we have our three flowers and we want to go ahead and take the film off of the flower and that's just real easy, just pull back on it. And the film is just to protect the acrylic, but we want to do that. 
and there's your acrylic and we want to go ahead and punch a hole with the crocodile through each one and that's what's going to hold them together with a brad. So just take your crocodile, go and try and find the middle but we don't have to measure, we're just going to eyeball it and you're going to do that with all three of these. And once you've gone ahead and done that, now we can do the inking. With the inking, again, we're going to use the acrylic, I'm sorry, we're going to use the stays on that is a solvent-based ink. And what we want to do is ink our pad so that it's really wet. And this comes with the opaque ink pad. It's just a little vial of extra ink. Now I could go ahead and take this and stamp right on the flower, but the larger flower it's not going to cover the whole thing. And I like when I use my brayer for this because it really does give it an all-over coverage. So you're going to go ahead and take your brayer and go into that ink until the brayer is fully covered. Now it's not quite covered here, so you want to check that and make sure that the coverage is all around the whole entire thing, like that. Now you want to have some sort of a scratch paper underneath so your work surface doesn't get messed up and you're just going to go straight over it like that and it gives a very nice full coverage of ink.